Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how we connect all the axle pads together. Um, they all come with waterproof plugs here um, and they're colour coded cable tyres. So each connection has got its own different colour of cable tyres for ease of installation. The, the plugs just simply unplug like so and come off. Okay, there's only one way on, one way off. Just tighten that till it's nice and firm. Only one side of it actually is undone, not both sides. It's, you'll, you'll see there, it's very simple. Okay, now I'll show you how to connect the pads. All the pads come with joining plates, like so. They'll simply take, up, take the bolts off, place, put in place and bolt on. Also too, our lifting points here are like so. With the IH lifting chains that go on the forklift, the chains will clip on to each of these and on the other corresponding outside the fork lift them up straight up. Ramps like the side plates have a side plate bolt on here. Okay, hi. What we've got here is we've got a 3 meter galvanised pole with our KCA 900 mounted on top. We've got our Jack 350 mounted in our stainless steel enclosure. We've also got our industrial printer that's mounted in our, in our stainless box. All these, all these three units are connected into this power, out, power box. From there we've got one power that goes in, okay? So everything's wired into the box. In terms of connecting all the pads up to the, the indicator, we have clearly marked it here. Scale one, two, and three. As you can see, it's color coded to suit the corresponding. So it's just simply plug in and connect. Okay, in general operation of these of the indicator, you'll have two locking keys just to keep keep it secure and uh, and dry. When in operation, we will need to open up this. Obviously, uh, the pole will be facing the driver at driver height. What we simply do here is, we've got two ways we can do this. We can program the truck regos into the memory of the indicator. So we simply type in an ID and press enter. So for instance, ID at, at the top here, you press ID. At the moment, I have not programmed any IDs in. I'll just do a temporary pass. So I will type in the ID as Rego ABC123. Okay, we can now press Enter. I'll stand on the scale. We've got some weight. Okay, that's recorded, that has recorded now the first pass. Now, 10 minutes later, once we load or unload, well, we can re-enter the weigh bridge. So, so if we jump back on the weigh bridge, jump on. We've got a different weight now with two people on the weigh bridge. Again, we re-enter the ID number. ID, A, B, C, one, two, three. And we press print. And then we have a docket. Likewise, what we've done too is we've put a remote print button on the outside. So you don't have to press the print all the time. You can just press that. And we get a ticket. Okay. In terms of the printer itself, it has a lockable key. Uh, 